Good morning, everybody. We have a few chairs if you want to sit down. What a great crowd. It was supposed to be spring, but you know how that goes. Welcome to the historic East End. And the first thing I'd like to do is to welcome our council members. Council member James Brown, who represents the East End, part of the first district, is here with us. Good morning. Council members Amanda Bledsoe, where did you go, Amanda? There you are. And council member Liz Sheehan. Have I missed any council members? Thank you so much for being here. Also here today is Charles Fields, chair of the board of the Charles Young Center Advisory Board. Mr. Fields, yes, you can clap. You're getting a, you're getting a, getting a hand. He also represents the neighborhood. We also welcome Monica Conrad, who is our Director of Parks and Recreation, as well as our Acting Commissioner of General Services. Welcome. Well, this is truly an exciting day here in Charles Young Park. We are about to build a new playground, and it will be ready for action this summer. Children of all abilities will be able to enjoy this playground. It will have equipment <clears throat> designed for children ages 2 through 5, that's one part of it, and ages 6 through 12. The playground will feature a ground slide, swings, climbers, and two motion pieces, an accessible merry-go-round, and Lexington's first spinning climber. I've had it described to me, but I'm not exactly sure how it works yet. <laughs> but there will also be plenty of shade and seating for weary parents. I think one of the most exciting things about this playground is that it will be accessible by trail to so many East End neighbors. The Town Branch Commons Trail will run right along Midland, right along there. Work started on that section this week. It's part of the downtown trail loop that travels through or near East End neighborhoods. The historic East End neighborhood is important to our city. We are committed to reinvestments that benefit the residents and families in this community. And before I welcome Council Member James Brown to the podium, I'd like to recognize Representative George Brown, who's joined us this morning. Thank you so much, Representative, for being here. Now I'd like to welcome James Brown to the podium, and James is going to tell us a little bit about why he believes this playground is so important to the East End. Welcome. Good morning, and thank you, Mayor, and thank you to my fellow council members for joining us, Council Member Amanda Mays Bledsoe and Council Member Liz Sheehan, and then thank you to Representative Brown for joining us this morning, as well as Commissioner Ford. Um, this, you know, this, this, this groundbreaking this morning is just another example of the city's continued commitment to investing in this neighborhood and in this community. Um, I'd like to thank um, our CAO, Sally Hamilton, Charlie Lantern, and Monica um, Conrad with Parks and Recreation. I remember us sitting around the table uh, discussing budgetary issues, and I made reference to a meeting that happened at this, um, at this park about two years ago. It was myself, um, board chair Charlie Fields, and Chris Cooper Ryder. And Mr. Fields took us down to the playground and said, look, this playground is in good shape. But it's outdated. It's unsafe. It's it's it just we just need in this community a playground that we can be proud of, one that our children can play on and be safe. And we just need the city to commit to doing this project. 
And a couple of years ago, uh, we found the funding and made that commitment and made that promise to this neighborhood. Um, I'd also like to thank um, Monica, Michelle, um, Monica again, and then also Michelle Kosiniak and her team at Parks and Recreation for engaging the Charles Young Advisory Board, the Neighborhood Association, uh, working with uh, Miss Jill Wilson at William Wells Brown Community Center and the young people in this neighborhood to get input about features and, and amenities that they would like to see in the playground. Uh, what that speaks to to me is us as a city government uh, being committed to this neighborhood, listening to this neighborhood, and this neighborhood trusting us to do right by them. So with every successful community project, if you start off with an investment, you start off with listening and being responsible and working to build trust, you'll have success. And today, that's what I think this groundbreaking, uh, groundbreaking is a symbol of. So thank you all. Thank you all from the neighborhood that's come out today. Thank you all from leaderships and positions in the community for being here today. And thank you all for your investment in your time in this neighborhood and this community. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Brown. I have a few other people I'd like to recognize who are here, and you mentioned Commissioner Ford. So this district has, I'm looking at Representative George Brown, Commissioner Ford, Councilmember James Brown, all of whom served on the council, yes, representing this area. We also have with us Ann Garrity in the back there, who is the immediate past president of America in Bloom, who has worked very hard on the Daffodil Project here, which honors uh, Yvonne Giles. And we have Vivian Moore, vice president of the Neighborhood Association, who's also worked on the Daffodil Project. We have Thomas Tolliver, who, where'd you go, Thomas? who's all about the Daffodil Project, and Percy Thomas, who's with the Neighborhood Association and has worked with the Daffodil Project. Welcome to all of you. Next, I'd like us to hear from Charles Fields, who is chair of the board of the Charles Young Center Advisory Board and also is representing the neighborhood. Charles, welcome. Good morning. Mill Gordon, uh, Ms. Conrad, Councilman Brown, and the other councilmen, Commissioner Ford, our representatives, our neighbors. This morning is very important because the old saying it takes a village to raise a child, it takes the conditions to help that child grow. And socially and structurally, this child from the neighborhood and this community will benefit from the improvements that are being made here starting today. But I can't stand here with no lack of words to say, I'd be hypocritical not to say the push for this whole situation started. And the young lady standing back here on my board, will you raise, all my board members raise your hand, please? The lady in the camouflage back here is brother, brother Carl White. He made a point 10 years ago to tell me that we needed to do something about this part. So today I think it's good that we give him acknowledgement the fact that he did that. And he stayed on me consistently about that. He wasn't a board member, but he was an original task force member. And in doing that, he made me realize to stop and think how important it is to have something for our youth and our citizens to enjoy. So I just want to give him a good shout out and give him a moment of praise for his consistency in doing that and pushing that issue. But Mayor Gordon, all assembly members, I appreciate the help. And I hope and pray that this grows into a very fulfilled and enjoyable deal as we go forth with this. Thank you. I have no doubt that it will. Thank you so much, Charles. Uh, next, uh, we'd like to hear from our Director of Parks and Recreation and Acting Commissioner of General Services, Monica Conrad. Welcome. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I'll be quick as we're, uh, droplets are definitely starting 
Um, with over 100 parks in our community, uh, we are always excited to see these continued enhancements in our parks. They improve our neighborhoods, they improve our community. Um, amidst a global pandemic, I think we all know that uh, these open spaces and parks are greenways, our sidewalks are more important than ever for folks to be able to connect and have some emotional uh, normalcy uh, come back to us. Uh, thank you for um, uh, Council Member James Brown, Mayor Gorton, our other council members that are here. We could not have accomplished this without their support without the support of our uh, Charles Young Advisory Board, the William Wells Brown Neighborhood Association, and youth from William Wells Brown uh, School. Jill Wilson heralded uh, a group of about a dozen kids that are going to be influencing this playground as we move forward. So this is a first for parks. Thanks, Jill, for getting that organized for us. Um, it's gonna be exciting, not only that they help design the playground, but they'll be here for our, our ribbon cutting and, and all the cool stuff that happens in between. We also had a couple of donors who helped us partner on this park. The Kiwanis is donating a large piece of playground equipment and Vulcan Materials will be donating native limestone to help enhance the park space. So watch our social media for all of our updates on the playground. We know you'll want to know when it's coming and when it's actually gonna be opening. It'll be summer this summer. Um, so follow us on social media. And in the meantime, just get out and play. Thank you. Thank you so much, Monica. And I'd like to also recognize our neighborhood resource officers, Officer Brill, Officer Holland, thank you so much. I know that our neighborhoods depend greatly on our neighborhood resource officers who become experts in the neighborhood. So uh, thank you all so much. I, I wanna thank the Charles Young Park Community Center, the board. Um, you know, Charles Young Park was named after an extraordinary man, Charles Young, who was born into slavery in Mayslick, Kentucky in 1864. He was accepted into West Point and ultimately became the first African American to achieve the rank of Colonel in the United States Army. We have honored Charles Young by placing the Charles Young Center on the National Register of Historic Places. And today we are honoring him again. Now, before we break ground, are there any questions from the media? Like, where's your umbrella? <laughs> okay, let's break some ground. And council members, come on up. Um, Thomas, Percy, Vivian, board, Board members. Okay, on the count of three, do you want to? On the count of three, 